If you were listening to the NPP's 2024 flag bearer for the first time yesterday, the question on your mind will be, has he been in power before? This is because he made promises that sounded the same or similar to what he and his party had promised prior to the 2016 polls. He equally took credit for successes by describing his role on the economic management team as advisory. I was thankfully appointed as chairman of the economic management team. As a subcommittee of, to cabinet, we do not have any decision-making powers, but I am very proud of the quality of advice we have been providing over the years to cabinet. But our Baumia story for today starts from a period preceding 2016. The disabled are suffering and men are suffering. Women are suffering and children and Ghanaians as a whole are suffering. Positioned as a chief spokesman on economic policies, Dr. Baumia never hesitated to hit hard on the NDC, questioning the party's management of the economy. It came as no surprise that he touted his own role as head of the economic management team while asking for the NDC to show members of its team. When I look at the economic management team, it is quite clearly a fantastic team. Professor Jambafo, Dr. Akotose, Dr. Afriye Akotu, Honorable Alan Chiremanting, Boachi Ejaku, Ken Oforiata, Senior Minister Yao Osafu Mafu. What a solid team. Can anyone remember the NDC economic management team? I'm sure they themselves cannot remember who their economic management team was. Well, today, the team is merely playing an advisory role to government, a view a member of the economic management team disagrees with. Alan Tremantin, who for more than five years served in cabinet and part of the economic management team, says Dr. Baumia was given all the opportunity to run the country. The sitting president has been fair to the vice president. He's given him all the opportunity mm -hmm. to run this country. The man is tired. There's nothing new he can do. And that's a fact. If it was merely an advisory role, why was Dr. Baumia asking then Vice President Emi Saratha to answer some 170 questions? Well, Dr. Baumia doesn't seem to agree. So let's look at what he intends to do if he becomes a driver. The Vice President says, and I quote, my administration will introduce a very simple citizen and business friendly flat tax regime. But four years ago, when he was still a mate and chairing an advisory body, he boldly made the same pledge to scrap taxes, to move the nation from taxation to production, a promise he had actually made prior to 2016. We are going to abolish all import duty on raw materials imported into Ghana and machinery imported into Ghana. What we have done so far is giving meaning to our focus on production because we believe that all these tax incentives would, would help you know, the private sector uh, and, and when they produce and make money, and we want the private sector to make money, then they can pay their fair share of taxes. But if you try to tax them up in issue, you may not get that much tax revenue. So the question really is, was he actually sold to Ghanaians as a mate? Was he put across as a mere advisor? If the answer is yes, how does he now take credit for the good? Promise to fix the bad like he had no idea while wanting to be a driver. Your answer is as good as mine.